All right, boys and girls, today we're gonna to go over our typical starchy carbohydrates. Um, your star the typical starchy carbohydrates, as you can see up in front of me, will be rice, pasta, and potatoes. And kind of, let's, let's establish what a starchy carb is. A starch is something that gives the body energy. It's a sugar. Most carbohydrates are a sugar anyway. Like you think about bananas, apples, oranges, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, they're all forms of carbohydrate. But these three in front of me probably would contain the most starch, therefore the most energy, therefore the most sugar. Now, when I say sugar, don't get the wrong idea. We need a certain amount of sugar in the system to create energy. Everything, pretty much all foods, contain some sort of sugar. It's just the way it converts in the body. Now, what I want to kind of go through today is which one gives you more bang for your buck? Because I'm not going to be standing here in front of you today saying one is better than the other. I will have a bias, of course, because I'm Irish. But um, really and truly, what these three come down to is what you were raised on. Okay, and I'll come to that in a second. But first, let's take a look. Let's take a look at some pasta first and what pasta contains. Pasta contains the highest level of iron, vitamin D and phosphorus, okay? So this, uh, this comes packed with a lot of um, ingredients already. It's better, obviously, if it's homemade, because um, with anything that's processed, anything that's processed by machine before you buy it, steer away from. But if you're making pasta from scratch yourself at home, which most Italians might be doing, now you're talking, okay? So homemade pasta is the way forward. Then the rice. Rice contains a calcium iron folate. Folate is good for red, the production of red blood cells and vitamin E. Okay? Um, white rice is super easy to digest it. And we could have the debate today about what's the difference between brown rice and white rice. Really and truly, the only difference between brown rice and white rice is the amount of fiber that the brown rice still contains. Okay? And my saying with fiber is more fiber, more fats. Unless you are completely removing fiber, white rice is absolutely fine. You will still be getting fiber into your diet because what you're eating with me is fully balanced. You're getting a nice mix of all sorts of things, all right? So um, white rice, I would find probably the easiest to digest. Definitely um, an advantage when it comes to eating higher calories because you'll be able to digest this a lot quicker than the pasta and maybe even slightly faster than the potatoes. But the potatoes, excuse me, my nose is a bit runny. Potatoes contain fiber, vitamin C, vitamin B6, and uh, potassium. Potassium is very good for regulating um, the bloody, the bloody's fluid, the body's fluid level, water retention, all right? Um, and in my opinion, the potato is probably give you, gonna, gonna give you more bang for your buck. These have been rated the highest on the satiety index, which is the foods that keep you satisfied for longer, so I'm a big fan of the potato. That's because I'm Irish, okay? And it's what I was reared on. And these three starchy carbs really come down to where you are reared, and that's what I was kind of saying at the start. I was reared in Ireland, England, like in and, and certain parts of Europe. The potato will be one of the most common things. Also in some um, Polynesian islands, you have yams and stuff like that, so they are very, very common there. If you were reared in Italy, or you have any, some sort of a European background, maybe pasta is the thing that your body will acclimate to best. Or maybe if you're from one of those Asian countries where rice was your staple. It all depends on what you're reared on and what suits your body best. But if you were gonna put me into, in the pinch, and I'm gonna to go to good, better, best scenario, I'm gonna say good, better, best. Okay, it's down to you. Give them a try and see how you go. This will all come down to the number of calories that you need to consume on a day. They all pretty much con uh, contain the same amount of calories per, per gram, but it, um, it all depends on what your goal is. Are you trying to shred down a little bit more or are you trying to eat more calories so you can build more muscle, all right? Good, better, best, have a try, see what works best for you. Giddy up.